You see, we're not for a moment asking you not to do all you can to uplift and help others. We're not asking you to, to stop with your action and not help. We just want you to get your priorities straight and understand that if you don't tune into source, you got nothing to give. If you don't tune into who you really are, you're not tuned in if you're not happy, if you're not joyful. And isn't that interesting? So this is the most wonderful conversation that we've just had because what you just explained to us, now we can explain easily back to you. Your daughter connected with source often and you calling her selfish for it because so much of the world doesn't understand. They think that sacrifice is the right thing to do and suffering is the right thing to do and joining those who suffer is the right thing to do. But here is just a little bit further. Do you know why you feel negative emotion at all? Because your inner being will not calibrate downward to your suffering. If your inner being was suffering with you, there'd be no separation between you and your inner being and you'd have no negative emotion. Your inner being will not join you in your suffering and yet you want your daughter to join others in their suffering. You see what we're getting at? You're getting this, you see. I am. There's only one way out of this and that's to let yourself be joyful. You just got to decide it's okay to feel good and stop pinching yourself off from the things that feel good because somebody in your little cloistered environment might scowl in their ignorance and misunderstanding of how the universe works <laughs> such an interesting thing so many people would say I want to be rich but they hate rich people contradiction going on but what we're getting at is you want to be happy but when you see someone being happy when you don't feel happy it doesn't seem like they should feel happy they should feel bad with you and we say you have trained one another pretty well you've trained each other to calibrate to you because you throw fits and you're their boss or you have some leverage over them so you can train people to calibrate down you can manipulate through behavior and you can get a whole lot of people to calibrate down but the babies are born they're hard to train down they're soaring you see and that's the way it's supposed to be for you too there's such an influx of pure positive energy always coming in so when you put all this together that your inner being knows what's in your vortex and is calling you to it and when you decide for whatever reason that you're not going to go you don't feel very good you don't want to adapt to not feeling good you see you want to adapt to feeling great it's good to feel good it's normal to feel good when you feel elation you know when goosebumps come over you when you have a thought that feels so good that's you calibrating to who you really are and the whole of you having this moment together but when you're out here on the leading ragged edge leading bleeding edge where you're letting the influence of others those people are in two groups they're either under the influence of source or they're under the influence of something else what group do you want to be part of as you calibrate yourself and meditate yourself and positive aspect yourself because you care about feeling good you care about feeling good you want to feel good you sat here and said I don't know what I want you want to feel good you want to feel good so much that you've done everything in your power to manipulate yourself into feeling good and it just doesn't work that way you mm -hmm. see yeah nice to know isn't it <laughs> so now what are you going to do about it what are you going to do Good question. <laughs> well, we know one thing for sure. Next time your daughter is selfishly happy, you'll be more likely to revel than criticize. You're going to be different next time in that. You're going to understand more clearly. And that's probably enough. Yeah, really good. Really good. Really good.